morning guys uh, we're gonna modify this picture to help you be able to connect the dots We've got the motor starter three-phase power the control transformer which needs to be tapped and two stops two starts come over to your drawing that you're going to be using you're going to use a stop button another stop button a start button and another start button you're going to draw them as their real symbols though you're not going to put these other contacts underneath so your drawing is going to look like this without the other circles underneath so the drawing that we're going to be using to copy from is we're going to transfer this ladder logic onto this and this is how we're going to do it so first thing we're going to do is we're going to take our three-phase feed and we're gonna feed the transformer so we're gonna tap two legs now that's fed and we're gonna come over here this is the contactor for the motor starter this needs three-phase power and we'll do the same thing here that's fed <coughs> three-phase in if this motor starter was to be energized, we'd have these three leads going down to the motor. So, overloads, three leads going to the motor. <coughs> now we got the control circuit. First thing we need to look at is we have the power source coming in to the stop button. <coughs> so, that's what we're going to do. We're going to bring that power source. I'm going to jog around this way. We're going to come in to the first screw. That took care of this. Now I'm going to jump between the stop buttons that are in series. That's that. We'll cross that off. Then we're going to come off that second screw of the stop button. And we're going to hit first screw start, first screw start, and then get to the open contact. So if we look around here, this is the second screw. And we're going to jump around first screw of the start button that's that one we got to come off that same button hit the first screw of the next one which we can just jump down like this now those are wired in parallel now we have to come off that same screw or this point to get over to our open contact so what I'm going to do is I'm going to come around. Now, <clears throat> I'm using one of these open contacts. These are my auxiliary contacts. I'm using this open contact to provide my holding circuit. So we got rid of that wire, and we got rid of that wire. So right now we've got all three lines connected. I'm going to have to jump off the other side of the open contact and come back around to these buttons, which are the second screws to the starts before we go back to the coil. <clears throat> so, we're going to come back around here. We hit that screw. We're going to come back around here and hit that screw. Now, what we did is we just came back around. We hit this screw. We hit this screw. Now we have to get back to the coil. There's a couple ways we can do that. We have one wire here. We've got two wires here. We've got one wire here, so it just makes more sense to just hit the coil like that. So, I took care of this wire. Now we've got to come off the other side of this coil and hit the overload. You might remember the NEMA mag starter actually had a wire from the factory that already came off to the overload. Here's our overload, normally close contact. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to go home in neutral from my overload back to my source. We're going to draw this around. That's that. So now that control circuit is done. The only thing that's left to do is finish the lab. I believe I said I wanted a green light to come on and a red light uh, to go off when this is energized and we know these contacts will change state once the coil is energized 
So we're going to put a green light here. Just draw this off to the side. We'll put a red light here. Draw this off to the side. Because a lot of times we have indication when something is on or off. We need a feed. We need an unswitched feed to feed each of these contacts. We need that 120 volts to be sitting at that contact waiting. So the best place to tap this, I don't like necessarily relying on the button to give me that power source. Although we could, there are people that would do this. This is closed, this is closed. We could tap off of here. I'm not going to though. I'm going to come straight from the source. And just, you know what, I'm going to draw this as green. We're going to come right off the source. I'm going to tap that spot, and I'm going to tap that spot. I've got untapped power from the source. Now, in a uh, normally closed state, this light would be off if we came into the light. Red. And we're going to do the same thing here. This would close if it were energized. And the only thing we need now is the neutrals back home. So we'll use blue again for neutral. All lights need the neutrals. And we're going to swing this around. I guess I'll have to go this way. And we could tap right into this point. So I'm going to just drop it there. Because there's our neutral for our overload. So. You clearly see this closes, green light, we hit stop, goes back to normally closed, red light's on to indicate that it's not running. That's what you got to do today, except you got to do it neat. Alright, thanks.